Modern science has given us a pretty good understanding of some crazy stuff, like how the sun works, and even how the universe got started. But it turns out there's a lot we don't know about a subject that you'd think we'd be pretty familiar with by now. Ourselves. Sure, we've got a rough idea of how we got here, but there's still some big mysteries to unravel if we ever want to understand how we became human. Walking on two legs is so characteristically human, you'd think we'd know why we do it, but the truth is we're still not sure. Darwin said bipedalism gave us the advantage by freeing our hands to make and use tools. But fossils suggest that can't be. The oldest tools date to around 2.6 million years ago, but our hominin ancestors started walking upright almost 2 million years before that. So if not the free hands, then what? Some think walking upright allowed early hominins to better spot predators. Others point out that walking on two legs allows us to travel farther, faster, giving us larger territories to roam. It doesn't have to be one or the other, though. Walking upright may have had a whole set of advantages that gave our ancestors the edge. Now, walking on two legs has obvious advantages, but being naked does not. Nearly all mammals have fur, and for good reason. We spend a lot of energy heating ourselves, and we don't want it to go to waste. So what gives? One idea is that we lost our fur during a phase of our evolution where we lived mainly in water, like whales and dolphins. As intriguing as this aquatic ape hypothesis is, there's not much in the way of fossil evidence to support it. Another theory says we lost our fur when our ancestors ditched the forests to hang out on the savanna around 1.7 million years ago. Overheating would have been a real danger, so those with less fur might have had a better shot at survival. But plenty of animals on the savanna kept their fur, so it's clear this mystery is yet to be solved. Being naked and bipedal is cool and all, but what really sets us apart is our upgraded gray matter. Our brains are twice as heavy as you might expect for an ape of our size. So why did we get the smarts while other apes didn't? Some think it's due to a single mutation that weakened our ancestors' bite muscles. This reduced the force across our skulls, allowing them to balloon out, filling with brain. More brain means we could better find and ration food and invent new technology. But the biggest driver of big brains was most likely ourselves. Keeping tabs on your place in the social structure would seem to reward those with more brain power. In fact, fossils indicate that proxies for social pressures, like group size and living density, rather than environmental pressures, were more closely associated with larger brains than our ancestors. The thing is, though, we Homo sapiens aren't the only animals to walk on two legs, lose our fur, or have decent-sized brains. For tens of thousands of years, we walked the planet with at least four other types of hominins, and we all shared roughly similar traits. They're now extinct, but we remain. Why? This could be the biggest mystery of all, and it's only getting more mysterious as we find more and more members of the hominin family tree. So it's likely we'll still be pondering why we are the way we are for a long time to come.